Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is a Google Calendar tip. And you may or may not have noticed that they have built in a function for what they call focus time. So you can block out time when you need to do deep work on your calendar and automatically decline meetings from everyone else. So let me show you how this works. So focus time is a brilliant idea, and I hope this is something that you already do, especially if you are in a leadership position where you get called into meetings all day, or if you're a teacher and you want to protect that planning period. So just make sure that you pay attention to what's on your calendar if other people actually look at this to see when you're busy. And when you go to create an event in Google Calendar, if you click that drop down, you'll actually see focus time as an option. So yes, you could just create an event and call it focus time yourself, but Google in their infinite wisdom here wanted to make it even easier. So focus time is actually a tab inside creating a new event. And it's gonna default to whatever your default is for the length of the event. But obviously you can change that. You can change the name of it. You know, you can say whatever this is. But I think more and more people are beginning to recognize that we need to protect our time. And that's what this is about. So, you know, go in here, make sure that you you have put in how much time you actually need and check this box to automatically decline meetings. And you can do that for only new or for new and existing meetings. If you've got to get something done and you can't attend that meeting, then it's going to send this message that you declined because you are in focus time. Now, I I think this is great. I think this is great personally, too, because even though I may not have a bunch of meetings on my calendar, sometimes I need to dedicate time to block out so I can work on one big thing and it really helps me focus. So I don't get distracted, checking email, checking Twitter, doing a million other things. All you have to do is click save and um, you'll tell it if you're going to automatically uh, save and decline those existing meetings. And there it is. So I just actually duplicated the event that I already had here, but that's exactly how easy it is. So just remember if you go to the drop down and choose focus time. If you like this tip, please give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of our free resources there. Bye, y'all.